Rugby 18, the newest and probably the worst rugby game in our opinion. Why? Well, there's a lot of flaws with this game. The graphics, you can see all the players more or less look the same, i.e. they look like bodybuilders. The sound is dreadful. The um, control method is the worst of any rugby game we have played. Why? Well, it seems it's like a lottery. It's not really well explained how you win a ruck or a maul. The AI always seems to win all the rucks. Lineouts are just not well explained at all. You just haven't got a clue what's going on. And uh, the AI is just a bit stupid as well. Um, he just barges through your defence. Uh, he wins every, every maul and ruck. And it just doesn't seem to be any fluidity in there for me. Um, I think of all the rugby games we've played, there's definitely got to be the worst. I had high hopes for it being the newest game. Uh, I mean, uh, there are some real players in there, some real kits, as you can see, unlike Rugby Challenge 3, uh, and uh, that's a plus. But I'm hoping that if they do make a Rugby 19, they will look at EA Rugby, and they will look at maybe Rugby World Cup and borrow some of their control methods, because this is absolutely diabolical. And now Rugby League Live 4. Now Rugby League is a game on uh, consoles and PC which is uh, only made really by one particular publisher and um, this is latest incarnation, Rugby League Live 4, um, is a good game but it has its annoyances and the annoyances for me is the uh, AI. It um, gives itself a lot of penalties and free kicks and gives itself a lot of advantages. For example, if uh, you've tackled a player uh, and they will automatically do a quick pass and catch your player offside and you really have got a little control over putting that player back on side, that ends up in a penalty which he gains um, a lot of yardage from and scores. Sometimes forward passes always go, um, and, and those are little niggly things that happen when you are attacking to give himself another advantage, and he gets out of jail quite a lot uh, on the normal difficulty. So um, there are a few annoyances, but in all, it's very, very satisfying when you uh, score a try in Rugby League Live. Okay, so that is the Rugby League game for the consoles and PC. It is the only one really available, but at least there is one, and it's quite good. We give this 7 out of 10. Next we have Rugby Challenge 3. Now this was released in 2016, about three years ago now. And uh, the graphics are okay for the, t for the time it was released. The gameplay is quite fluid. Uh, the only downside about this, I think, really, is the fact that the teams are sort of made up and uh, the kits are wrong. And so, for example, you, know, you look at Wales there and they've got a completely different kit to what they really have. All the, the red of Wales, the red and white, the familiar kit is missing. The players, a lot of the players are not the real players as well. There's some, I think there's some teams which are licensed, but it adds, away, it takes away from the enjoyment of the game really. And then, even though you can download customised teams like Welsh Legends and Australian Legends with all the old uh, players in as well, as well as the current players, you um, you can play them in the championship modes or tournament modes. Uh, and the commentary, to be honest, is really naff. So, uh, the gameplay wise is quite fluid. Uh, the um, Sometimes the malls are a bit odd. You don't really know exactly what you're doing sometimes just by hitting this. But all in all, it's one of the better rugby union games out there. Rugby World Cup 2015 is one of our favourites. And the reason why, it's got proper names, proper teams for most of the teams, I think. And um, despite the fact that it's got a bit of a learning curve, because especially the R2 button, which is used mainly to sprinting games, this one doesn't use R2 to sprint, it uses it to pass, so you can get a lot of confusion when you first start playing it. But if you persevere and actually go through the tutorials like we did and work out how the game works and the mechanics, it's actually very, very fluid and it's very enjoyable. The graphics are okay, they're not perfect. Um, the only other thing is the, the camera distance you can't adjust, I don't believe, we haven't been able to, so you've got the top down and side view but you haven't got a lot of other options with the camera. It's a minor issue, but um, having the fact that, that uh, the teams are licensed uh, and the real play names and the real kits makes a massive difference. And like Rugby Challenge, where there doesn't seem to be as much atmosphere, this has a little bit more atmosphere, and the game is quite fluid. The pass, and after a while, you realise that the R2 button is not to sprint to the pass. It's actually quite intuitive. So you just point in the direction you want to pass and press R2 and off you go. Rucks, moors, lineouts, easy to master after you've looked at the tutorial, but you must look at it. All in all, one of our best rugby games on the market in number two for us. The next game is an older game, one of the oldest games for rugby that we have here on this video, and is in two, that was made in 2007, and it was by Electronic Arts, of course. Yes, EA Sports. And for us, this is the best rugby game that has been ever made, and it's a very, very unfortunate they haven't made one since. Why is it the best one? Well, 
as you can see, the graphics are okay for the time. This is on a PC and, and everything is on maximum resolution. And you'll also see that the screen uh, is, is a bit shortened and that's because the game supports uh, maximum resolution, I think, of 1600 by 1200. But um, why is this game good? Well, it's fluid. It plays very fluidly. The passing is intuitive. The kicking's intuitive. There's no lag. There's no delay. The teams are all real. The kits are good. Uh, the names, um, you know, are all, all as you'd expect, as you can see there, uh, Jones and Shane Williams, etc. And um, it just feels natural when you're playing it. You know, it is all the tournaments that you'd expect. The, ki the kicking is just, there's no fancy things like waiting for this bar to go down and moving the right stick at a certain time. It just feels like uh, it's intuitive, a bit like the EA Sports' uh, FIFA, really. Um, and uh, as you can see, the... The, the animation as well it is good, it looks good even for 2007 and a lot of people think this is the ultimate rugby game and there's even a petition on change.org for, uh, uh, for EA to make another rugby game. Um, unfortunately uh, you can't seem to pick this up many places today so it's quite rare but um, we uh, are lucky to have a copy and we must say this is our favourite rugby game. But this is number one on our list.